holding in uh, Yaakov for Baba Bato, attracted uh, Baba Bato, and today's the topic is uh, Topsy Turvy World. Rabbi Abba also said they asked uh, King Solomon, the son of David, son, uh, King Shlema Melch, the son of David Melch, who will be able to enter the world to come. So he replied, an elderly person was respected in this world because of his wisdom. As it says, there will be honor for his elders, Isaiah 24, 23. This is similar to what Rabbi Yosef ben Yeshua said. He was sick and had an out-of-body experience where the soul briefly leaves the body and then returns. Do you, do you believe it that the Gemara tells you about an an out of out of body experience? Yeah. Uh, his father asked him, "What did you see in your out of body state?" He replied, "I saw a topsy turvy world. Those that are on top in this world, respected for their wealth and power, are at the bottom in the world to come." And those that are on the bottom in this world, the poor, the downtrodden, are on top. His father told him, you did not see an upside down world, but an unconfused, sensible world. So what we see is confused. What they see from their perspective, it's not topsy-turvy. From their perspective, they see it the way it is. It's our problem that we think that the wealthy and the powerful is a, is a big shot. He then asked, and how do we, how do we do we Torah scholars rate their question mark? Just as Torah scholars are respected in this world, so they are. So are they in the world to come? It's the same way they're respected here. They're respected in the world to come. Question. And I heard, uh, I, I heard them say, praiseworthy is, is he who comes to this world and has his learning with him. I also heard them say, those that were killed in the Roman government are on such a lofty level in heaven that no living being can stand can stand close to them. It says uh, those that were killed by the by, Roman okay. by the Roman government okay. are are on such a lofty right. level that no living being can stand close to them. Uh, who are the who are the martyrs that were killed in the Roman government? Do you think Rabbi Akiva and his colleagues? Question mark. In the martyrdom, the only the only reason that uh, that no one can come close to them, obviously, even without that, they would have attained this lofty position in heaven. They were all towering tzaddikim. Rather, it is referring to the martyrs of Lud. So, martyrs of Lud, that's uh, who is he was referring to. But he's saying the Torah scholars are also respected in the world to come. For sure. Okay, we'll continue. So